Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29 and here's what's in our backpack. We are overweight and it's only going to get worse when I grab all that water. Um, we have some stuff we can craft. Got a little bit of meat. Uh, that rifle's at 76. I can also clean that up. Okay, I forgot the rope. That's why. Uh, there we go. And we are day 17. Wow. Time's flying. And here's our skills. And it is late. <laughs> uh, that should not boil over. Uh, that's where we came from. I gotta drop some weight without stepping on the fire. Um, let's just drop the coal for now. And... I guess we'll drop these two. Let's go have a peek around this corner see what's in there oh we have a deer carcass 1.3 all right we're gonna have to harvest that uh, that's the only piece of coal all right let's do that and that I don't care about the torch. Except now we can't see a thing. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, we got, it looks like there's an Aurora. Is that fire going? Oh, the fire's going. Run! Run! I don't imagine it's going to be going too much longer. But I might be wrong. 23 minutes. You're 16. Let's grab all this. I was expecting to find more coal down there, but... Alright, we gotta go around this side here. Uh, let's get... At least a stick. That's 12. Let's uh, harvest that up. Alright, nine until boiled. It's 41 minutes. You are 14. We'll do that and okay we got two old men's beard that's fine give me those MREs <laughs> no never um, that's probably you're cooked you're 26 minutes We can do that. I want to craft all of these. And you know what I want to do? I want to get my bed rolled down. Right there. Because I'm going to craft the rest. And then we're going to sleep. Because you can see we're a little bit into our... Oh boy. 45 minutes, that's fine. A little bit into our alertness. Alright. Uh, go here. Eat you. 70%, I don't trust that. 
I don't even know if I can eat those MREs. I don't know when MREs start to give you food poisoning. Oh, why did I put 10? <laughs> you knew we wouldn't get that. I think three would have been whatever. All right. Uh, we're just gonna have a quick little peek in here. All right, yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, let's fill the belly, try to get our weight down as much as we can. And... Yeah, let's use the, tor or the lantern. Can we fill it? Do we have any? I don't think we do, do we? No, we don't. Oh boy. All right, let's go. I might drop the sticks. You know what? I'm going to drop sticks. I'm going to relocate this rock so it doesn't become part of my sticks. Uh, that's 2.7. I'll take one. Doesn't feel like it did anything. We have 35 cattails, Darth. I saw your comment earlier that I haven't picked even one and you were already here. We have 35. All right, we'll grab all the coal that we find. So you saw, some of you saw on Discord. Um, yeah, the, the, the computer store messed up. I bought the pre-built PC. The RAM in it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was just not, you know, it's not great. And I think they do that intentionally with their pre-builds. They know everybody wants the 6,000 RAM, but they'll put 56 in it. Knowing that a good portion of you or us will be dead set on wanting 6,000. So the guy told me, he's like, hey, we can uh, we can uh, install this for you. And I asked how much he said nothing free. And I said, OK, now I'm thinking they know what they're doing, right? Because, you know, I'm not the expert. They are, but I'm not. But I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Everything I've ever read about RAM says, number one, don't mix brands, don't mix speeds, and two slots is better than using up all four. So when I picked it up, obviously the PC's in a, in a box. They gave me the box for the RAM, but I didn't really look at it. Didn't really feel like I needed to. And I wonder if I should just go this way. Get it over with. Anyway, so I was in uh, I was in one of the settings and I, saw, I noticed that it said my PC had 64 gigs of RAM. And I'm like, what? It's not supposed to have 64. Am I misreading that? I don't get it. Maybe it's not what that's talking about. And... Uh, so I opened up the box of RAM and there was nothing in there. And I thought, what? And I had a closer look inside the case and I noticed, yeah, they didn't swap the RAM. They just added the RAM. Most of your mates use all use four, including you. That used to be the case. Nowadays using four is fine. Oh, really? What about if they're at two different speeds? 
Because I also saw that when Ram says it's at 6,000, you actually, it doesn't come that way. You have to go into your BIOS and enable a, a feature to allow it to go at that speed. So how would that work if I have a 56 and a 60? Well, I should say two 56s and two 60s. No, don't use different speeds. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm fine with 32. I mean, I've been, I think my, my, the PC I'm using right now, I think only has 16. You have your RAM at 128. Wow. And they all have to match or don't do it. Yeah. And one thing that he didn't tell me, which may be a little bit of a slip up for him, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, you get a new PC, you want it to look all pretty. Or some people do. I mean, the lights do make it faster. Come on, man. It's like, it's like decals on a Jeep. They do add horsepower. So, I didn't realize. Like, I, I he asked, do you want RGB or no? And I said, no. Because you know what? I was always already on the hook for a ton of money. And I didn't want to spend more than I had to on something stupid. I didn't realize the RAM is the same price for what I got. Whether it's RGB or it's no RGB. That kind of miffs me a little bit. Because I definitely would have got the RGB one. Because why wouldn't you? Oh well, not the end of the world though. I'll live. The 16 gigs of RAM getting outdated now. From everything I heard, it's, it's time is coming. Did I? No, why would I? Why would I drop that deer right in there? It's time is nigh. <laughs> I think I think these days 32 is what you sh should look for. I think there's still a lot of people that think uh, 64 is more than you need. But. Future proof, and if you got the money. Alright. What am I going to do? You know, I'm going to harvest that torch. Since it's always going to bring out my other ones, I may as well. Oh, you know what? Drop my scent because I don't know where the bears are. And where are you? Let's clean this baby up while we're warming up. And are we... As far, yeah, we are as far back. We're not going to get any warmer than this. Where'd you go? Almost midday. You, you probably understand. I'm going after the note. That's what I'm going for. I think I'm already over here. Yeah, we're walking slowly, but.
I didn't really feel like going to the, the farmhouse and then coming back this way. So I figured I'd just get it now. Yeah, I actually have to take all four out because the the two that came pre-installed are in the optimal slots. I've heard, I believe it's the second and the fourth slot are the ones that you want to be using. So I have to take out all four and put the other, the, the new ones in the, the two and the four slot. Why this is the case, I have no idea. It's way beyond my knowledge base. PC people will tell you, ah, you're just changing RAM, it's not a big deal. Uh, my big deal is figuring out how to open up the case <laughs> without breaking anything. My fingers feel numb. I'm not a I'm not a tinkerer. I learned in my life. I'm I, I can tear anything apart. I just struggle to put it back together. <laughs> and obviously Y'all know me for my patience. So. I prefer sometimes to just play it smart. Let other people do it. Some people say, well, hey, you can do that for yourself and it'd be cheaper. Yeah, but in the long run, is it? If I break something? I know me. I'm more patient than I think. Just know my limits. <laughs> my limits are down below. They're like at my like knees. <laughs> but sometimes my brain doesn't like to follow those limits. Am I still on the right trail? I've gotta be. I mean, where else would I be going, right? Pretty sure you can't get lost going to the road. My biggest frustration yesterday came with the late when I was telling you I couldn't access my Gmail on the new PC. Because when I would go to it, it would be like, oh, you have to do this. Like, no, I don't want to do that. Stay out of my business, Bill Gates. But I was already signed into my Gmail. I was already signed into my Microsoft account. They said, well, we will send you a code to your recovery email. Okay, good. They did that. And I entered the code. And then they said, now we're going to send one to your phone. All right, fine. So then they send one to my phone. I enter the code from my phone. And then they say, you are locked out due to suspicious activity. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't get how I can answer all of your questions and still have you say, hmm, we're still all suspicious. I don't know. There's got to be an easier way. I think I can get a, a, a data transfer cable. I think that's probably the simplest way. Uh, actually, to be honest, a capture card is probably the absolute simplest way. But having just spent all that money, I mean, I don't like spending lots of money like that. I really don't. And... Oh, man, you know, if I get a capture card, I can run everything off of my old PC. It's it's running good. I have my Steam is installed on the new one. It can do its job of playing the games and the old one can do the other stuff, right? And I know OG said that you got that uh, your your capture card for 20 bucks. Is it good? 
Today's word is verklempt. Verklem. Yeah, there it is. Verklempt. And what does that mean? Sounds German. Yeah, it does. Good language. It means seized with overwhelming emotion. Interesting. I'm so verklempt. <laughs> I don't see myself using that very much. Uh, I have amazing news that you guys don't even know about. My cousin yesterday sent me a text message with the recipe to my grandmother's, what is it, Grebel? I think it is. It's like, I used to just call them twists. I've been asking people for decades in my family, does anybody know grandma's recipe for those twists? And apparently it was in one of my aunt's cookbooks rebel it's like yeah it's like it's like dough that she used to she would twist it uh i think it's a german thing i loved it and yeah so i guess uh my cousin was going through my aunt's stuff some of it yesterday and she found the recipe hidden inside of one of these books written in my grandma's writing which i must say is pretty actually good writing yeah it's grebel the way Murd spelt it there yet yeah. very good stuff now i just need to find somebody that'll make it for me because <laughs> i can't follow recipes I'm no cook. I'm old school male. I just, I, cooking is beyond it. Like grilled cheese, yet. Yeah. Wieners and beans, yet. Yeah. <laughs> Anything more intricate than that? Nope. I can make a mean craft dinner. <laughs> it's a goddamn freezing. Watch your mouth, Astrid. Well, since we're here, we may as well go check out this guy. So, although yesterday was a very frustrating day, that that text message from my cousin kind of brightened my day because my search is over. Because the thing, I never knew what the name of the stuff was either. I just knew it was twisted stuff. <laughs> that was... I haven't seen my grandma for probably 30 years, so... Oh gee, that word might have to be a word of the day, because I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Yay, 100% orange! Yeah, my grandma never, never put the powdered sugar and stuff on it. Ah, uh, let's just chill with this guy. We gotta warm up. I can't go on without warming up. Let's not use the 100%. Let's use the 60. My aim is off. My, my, my whole computer setup is just messed up right now. <laughs> like, table, the table's angled in a way that it's never been, and my chair has been moved countless times. Nothing's in its proper spot. Even my even my uh, my monitor with my OBS and my my chat, it's lower. It's on the PC box, but it's like six inches lower than it's supposed to be. Uh, let's throw the call. Let's just do two. And mm. 
mad respect for anybody that realizes what just happened. I always forget about that Maglin, just leave it at home. I know, I know, I do. And you, but you know what? I bet ya. Let's do this. Yep. It was Maglin's weather. Does anybody know what problem is going on right now? You might notice. I have you, at least. Fuck you. Let's take that. Let's do that. Um, I guess I only have the one. Where's the hot one? Let's take the hot one. I left my pots in the fire and at the fire in the cave. Did I take my bedroll at least? Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Oh no. And the thing is, I don't know with the time of day, I don't know that I have enough time to make it to the farmhouse and then back to the cave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm not going to go up this way because then it means I have to come back this way. I'm going to go, oh wait though, but I don't break my arms and legs this way. So I might go this way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can find a spot here. There we go. I am going to drop a bunch of weight, uh, possibly in the trunk of this car. Just so it's way quicker to just pick it up and go. It's like two clicks done. And we'll drop a bunch of weight so we can walk and then we'll go. How much can you hold? You can hold 40. We'll do that. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Do that. Let's put the MREs in there. Oh, I haven't used that tab yet. Uh, you, you. Uh, do that. Oh, that rope. Why am I carrying that rope again? Does anybody remember? Where did I get that rope? Let's throw you in there. All right, we're well underweight. Let's go. Where did I find that rope? I feel I was supposed to have left it somewhere. Isn't that where I was going to leave it? Oh, no. I was going to leave it for a ravine. Oh my, I found that at the lookout tower. I lugged that way out of the way. I, my plan was because I never used the rope from the lookout tower. I was just going to, I'm going to save this one for the ravine and drop it out the side before we go into the dam. And I totally didn't do that. And now it's way out here. Oh no. Oh no. Not 
cool, not cool. You know what else is not cool? The fact that as slow as we were walking, once we get back to that car, we're going to be two kilograms heavier because of them pots. Uh, and I don't, you know what? I don't want to run. I want to maintain my maximum carry capacity because it's only going to get worse if that goes down. Oh, man. Oops. Well, at least we don't have to go terribly far into the cave. That's a bonus. Is it me or did that? I mean, I know what actually happened, but did that just say hypothermia risk? I didn't see that it said cured or whatever. Because I know now we don't have the hypothermia risk, but. And obviously, look at us, we're gaining temperature now. Maybe just my eyes aren't working properly right now. Oh, man. Now, now the question is, what do I do with that rope? I really don't want to lug it all the way back through all this cave system and then all the way through the dam. But it also can't spend its life in the trunk of that car. It might have to go back at some point. my mind all right that's where we're going to I guess I can check the body outside the cave. Never really looked at him. Maybe he'll have like a 87% fire striker. And it'll make this little mess up worthwhile. Because I didn't really plan on coming back here for a while. So at least if we find something good on them, makes it all worth it. I'm betting he's got absolutely nothing. As I suspected. <laughs> through the rest of my fuel. Oh no. There we go. We're almost there.
Just over there. You know, it'd be even worse as if it was full. If they were both full of water. <laughs> like, damn it, that's more weight than I wanted to carry. Give me you. Give me you. Oh boy. Oh no. Army went to the the mine to get the backpack. Put down your bear hide bedroll. And you left it? <laughs> I don't even know what song y'all are talking about. That's not a song. It's a bad dream. Oh, this is just what we really wanted, right? Oh no. Just don't turn into a blizzard. Basement Jacks, where's your head? That's the song. Okay. Uh, this is going to turn into a blizzard and just magnify how bad that mistake was. Uh, I don't want to run, but I also don't want to spend a lot of time trying to walk through a blizzard. Speaking of magnifying that mag lens, yo, what's it gonna? What do you want me to pull it out right now? I don't. It's in the trunk. I'm still gonna carry it. I don't know. I used to always carry it, and then I went through a phase where I didn't carry it for that very reason that you mentioned earlier. I always forget to try it, and now I'm back in the phase of carrying it. Well, the good thing is once we get the, the car, we can at least eat and drink and it'll reduce a little bit of the weight that we're going to have to carry. Mr. Blizzard. Ah, oh, great. Let's see if we can get a wind block. I don't want to go much further up the hill, though, because you know Glastrid, right? This sucks because, I mean, it is fairly straightforward, but I don't usually take this route, so I'm not entirely familiar. I could get lost in this. Oh, 
Or I could find the road. There we go. Yeah, well, maybe if you hadn't uh, forgotten your pots, Astrid. I have a word with you after the stream. Right, get in the back. Oh, we're not even gaining temperature in the back. Not like you gain it in better in the back or anything. I'm just... Ah, Astrid. We're going for a walk. It's going to be cold. And now we can't run. Yeah, once you get to the road, it's not... You're not going to get lost. You shouldn't get lost, but hey, I walked right by in a blizzard. So it is still possible. Uh, oh, and I, I just drank, so I can't even drink my other birch bark. It's going to be a nighttime blizzard in a rickety old house. Clackety clack clack clack. Maybe drop that rope rather than freeze. There I go with my back seating. No, I'm going to move it to a location where when I have to grab it, I know exactly where it is. I know, it seems stupid, but in the end, it might pay off. Uh, yeah, okay, let's keep going. Yes, moving rope more important than health. <laughs> you don't know what condition we'll be in when we're needing the rope. We might be in worse. We're almost there. At least I think so. If I just walk through the field and go this way, I should be all right, right? I'm not going to do it. Hey, chill. Welcome in. How are you doing? I'm just making mistakes left and right here, so that's why you see us walking through a blizzard. Moving loot well encumbered. You do this all the time with a bow in hand. <laughs> See? Other people do it. At least the good news here is at least the wind is from the back. We could be walking into it. That would be way worse. <laughs> Murd going through the field? Yes. Knife with a sense of direction? Oh boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick to the road. Because honestly, even when I get to this, the, the little shack, whatever you want to call it, um, I still can struggle to find the house in a blizzard. You even do this on misery difficulty, it's a real thing. Nice. You wouldn't have taken the rope here in the first place. I know, I know. 
Why didn't you backseat like yesterday? <laughs> where's where's that comment? Are you sure you want to keep going with that rope? We'll get it sorted. And that's what that's what bothers me the most. I made a good decision by not deploying the rope up at the tower. Isn't there supposed to be a car here? Oh, the car is just right over there. But yeah, and then I screwed up that good decision by forgetting to drop it. If only I could run. There's the building. I'm just gonna leave the rope inside here. And... We might... Just spend the night in here. Oh, it's only one arrow up. No hidden. Oh, there's a hidden bullet. It's not really hidden, but. Alright, you know what? Put you right there. Is the knife in the door on the left side? I don't know. I could use this. Yeah. Now we have an extra knife. Do we only have one extra knife or do we... I think I finally dropped that other one, right? XM wants coffee time. All right, XM, give me a minute to get through this. And then I will do it. This is painful. You know, I like guess less painful doing that. The crouching part though sucks. Uh, kind of carcasses up here. Is there ever anything else around him? Sorry, I'm just gonna walk over top of your dead body. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Oh, we got some jerky. Um, I believe that's better than this. All right, let's do. Let's try and do a slurp here. There we go. Thanks, XM. Oh, come on. Now Murd wants a stretch. Uh, you are 0.9, you are 1.5. Oh boy, now we can't see. Can't see. All right. We're going to the farmhouse. Stretch while slurping. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that'll work. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Alright, Merd. Give me a second, I'm just gonna check this uh 
You're early anyways. You only did it that time to be difficult. Alright. Oh, sure getting cold. Let's go this way. Alright, here we go. There we go. Wow, that's... I didn't even realize we didn't really warm up all that much. I just want to lay down for a bit. <laughs> Me? Difficult? Surely you guess. Yes. Well, we don't have... Well, we do have a deer. That's good. I wish I could run. All I ever wanted was just to run. Well, I guess here's the good news as well. Blizzard's over. Maybe the house will be a little bit quiet. Maybe. Uh, I wish we weren't freezing. I would go to the car. Come on. A little bit further. Alright. Safety. There it is. Close the door. Alright. First thing we need is a jerry can. I know where there's a good spot for a jerry can. We just can't go there tonight. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Take the carrot. Take the note. Come on. We got one of you. You can go over there. Um I like putting the pots on the back. You can go there. All right, we got a potato. We got another potato. Uh, our lantern's going to go out. I didn't see anything behind there. Good enough, I don't care. One ninety two, look at that. There's a whole bunch of water I didn't really need right this second. Piece of cedar. Ooh, that's perfect. Oh, you know what I should have did? I should have looked in the spots where you can get a lantern. Where is... There's right here and there's upstairs. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's just a book. 
Let's go upstairs and see if we can make it to the bedroom. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a lantern on our way. I don't see one. I could eat anything. All right. Well, there goes our lantern fuel. Oh, there's where's that way. Where's the bed? I'll take it. Ooh. What about you? Okay, you're you're okay. One point seven thirty and three. One point six ten two. Okay, I have them the right way. Tis good. Tis good. There's the bed. All right, we gotta eat. I'm eating sixteen percent chips. I don't care. I'm gonna eat the carrot. Is it junk food if you also eat a carrot with it? Um, I'm gonna eat that. And we are gonna drink that. And we're not gonna get a birch bark down, so that's fine. Oh, I forgot. I was on. There it is. Let's go to bed. <laughs> I hate eating cattails, man. It takes so long. All right. Uh, let's drink you. And... Finish this off. Or not really finish it off. All right now, what was the time of day? It is morning. Do this until we can see. All right, we can see. Nothing over there. Check for some clothing, I guess. Nice. Guess we'll go into this room. Anything behind here? I always say that, but who knows? Maybe there's a small chance. Where do we gotta go now? One eighty two. Wow, we got lots of water now. Seven and seven point three. Oh, I thought that was a book. I thought it was a sewing primer when I was walking by the room. Too bad. Hmm. Okay. Decent wool mittens. Oh, 
want wool mittens. Take those. Let's go counterclockwise. This will come a cartridge, rifle cartridge. Some books. Uh, I think the hope for today is to get that bow. But not at any cost. I think there's also, you know, like that's another spot where the lantern could be. And yeah, we don't want to even touch that. Who knows whose stanky head that was on. All right, let's drop you. And you and you. You can go way over there. Put you guys up here. Sewing kit. Yeah, look at that. We got another mag lens. All right, let's load up this. Let's do that. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to throw these in here. And obviously no food items are going to go in there. Uh, tools don't go in containers. They go on the floor so I can see them. Actually, I'll get rid of that. Do this. And I have one sharpening stone. Do I have another? I do have another. Dang it. Uh, where do I put hides and guts in here? I don't really have a place because I don't usually use this place. Hides and saplings, I guess I should have said. We'll do that. And throw all of you. Oh, you know what I can throw in there? All these arrow shafts. For now. I'm going to do that. I'm trying to get as, as light as I can. We're still at 42. Oh, that's all the water. That's all the water. All right. This is where I usually stick you guys. No other extras. Uh, books go right here. Extra books. You've been completed. Okay. Let's drop that one. We'll take the bow book and cooking bow and cook. I'll take the cooking. Do that. Let's do that. And let's drop six of you. And I had something else, didn't I? Oh yeah. Water, 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 water. Oh, I guess I don't need that anymore. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Mm. Eat you. Oh, I got zero two on this. Let's get that. 
Oh, right. <laughs> I totally forgot. I, I leave hides and stuff in the basement, too. Why? How? Can I forget that? I have no clue. Uh, let's just drop all. Do that. And the care the the potatoes. Get rid of you. And the MREs. Go there. I'll stack you right up in here. How could I forget about the basement? All right. Another pry bar. Uh, more potatoes. Gee, thanks. Some oats. Yeah, this is... This is where I always store my hides and my guts. I really don't know. I mean, my mind really must be somewhere else. Uh... Thank you. More oil. All right, let's start searching stuff. Nobody needs this anymore. Books. Also, no lantern. I didn't see a lantern in here. I thought the basement had a chance of a lantern as well. Uh, more crappy mittens. I almost don't want this. Oops. Right. Uh, there's always something down here that I miss. Not you. I think I got it this time. I checked you. There's a small chance that the small open bar next to this place has a jerry can. Is it really? All right, now put that out and serve it. Sorry, it's a little bit dark, but um, I'll throw you guys in there. What am I doing? We don't throw tools in there. I had, yeah, I did. I found that other one that has to come with us. Yeah. All right. Clothing. Get those out of here uh, real quick. You. And we'll spread the potatoes here. I'm just going to mix the carrots. I think anytime I need one, I'm probably going to need the other. And I don't really do the recipe, so it's not a big deal. You can go right there. You can go right there and, oh, you know what else? You can go right there. I'm going to take a pot because I don't have any cans. Yeah. Let's go. 
Oh no. Well, while we're here, let's have a peek. Nothing. Every once in a while, there's a soda there. Is that the bear? Yeah. Hey. Copper. What's wrong with you? Nope. Where'd that bear go? Pretty sure it was a bear, right? Yeah, that's... The bear right there. I don't want the wolf to see me. Another book. Gotta warm up somehow. All right, that's just a hint. Well, in this weather, I don't know that we have much of a choice. Just go inside and read. It's too cold. Uh, take another one of those. I think let's just start reading. you guys. Let's actually spread them out so we can see them. Come on. There you go. And let's go out here so we can tell what the weather's doing. squawking that bear is it oh oh he's right there too far Oh, you know what I can do? <laughs> hey, bud. Is this safe? Is this a safe spot? I don't know. I know going in there. Is safe? cartridge go. I didn't see it. Whatever. Got a bear. I can't feel my feet. Well, we gotta just kind of chill out. Read a little bit. 
and hope that this weather clears up. And I don't think so. Nope. We need a different book. Um, let's take that one. Where am I going to leave the books that have been read there? Outside we go. I will. Oh, wait. I have a better idea. Let's drink that. And we had a, a chocolate bar or something. Yeah, let's eat that. Get rid of it. And there we go. Darth is happy. All right, so we have a bear we can harvest and cook up. You don't kill bears, you're too busy running from them. Well. This might be stupid. Come on, Mr. Wolf. Oh, you did not. Oh, I wasted a shot there. Yeah, I run, squeak, do I run? Oh, we can go check up on top of the hill, too. It's pretty late, though. I, I You know what? I want to go to three strikes. This is not a smart decision at all. I think a smart decision. You know what? I'm going to make the smart decision. I'm going to go up. I'm going to check where these crows are. There's a body. And we're going to go back because it's almost nighttime. And I'm going to run as much as possible. To kill off our alertness. There's nothing but does in this world. Where's all the bucks? That's not what I wanted. Not even any feathers. Okay. Well, here's what we can do. There's it's that deer again. We can go to this little building, whatever it is. Uh, that's where I believe there can be a jerry can. Well, I don't believe there can be. There wow. for real can be murdered. Jesus. So we should get a jerry can in here. Hopefully it's a full one. I think going to three strikes right now would be really stupid because there's a there's going to be two deer carcasses. I'm going to want to harvest them both. Oh, and look at you. This stuff will come in handy. Oh, I would rather have had a jerry can. Cuz now I'm likely to do something stupid. 
Go back. Go back and read. That's the smart plan. There's too much to do at three strikes to just go there right now. It's not a place that you can just go and grab something and leave. You gotta, you gotta harvest those hides. We're probably gonna have to warm up. We might find something else there. Uh, we can grab the memento. Gotta watch out for this wolf. Is that him over there? Well, if you're way over there, that's fine by me. Mr. Bear. It's so cold. I'm warming up a bit. Unfortunately, we're too cold to harvest anything from him right now. I would like, actually. Uh, if I can get six kilograms off of him. Uh, I'm not doing that. You know why? Because I, now I kind of wonder. I mean, if the bed in the trapper's cabin gives better condition recovery, do beds in general? Or is it just that one? We are full. Oh, I can't use that. Where am I? Let's go outside. Let's try to get six. We can cook it while we go to bed. Oh boy, it's cold. Come on, hurry up, Astrid. Hurry up, hurry up. We're going to lose a bunch of condition. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I have two torches again still. 24. That should be okay. I don't know. Uh, we're going to need that. We're going to need that. Uh... Unfortunately, I'm going to need to take these it really do. off. All right, I grabbed one. Let's do that. Pretty skies. I don't think it was an Aurora yet. I don't even, I, I hope there is one because I want to play that funky music. Alright, let's do that for now. Um, I'll put you away. You know what? Let's do that. So that's an hour 13. Oh, that was way too perfect. Do that so I can do that. So now we're 13. You're, yep, that'll work. Um, yeah, let's just go to bed. Oh boy, drink, boy, drink, but not too much.
All right, so what do we got? We got one torch that can be broken down. And a bunch of cattails to ingest. We got, you know what, this is not that bad. I keep forgetting we have the scurvy risk in this game, this run. That will, in my runs, that'll always be a deal. Um, that last run where it got turned off somehow uh, was not my fault. It just sets me back a little bit now, though, because now I have to... Oh, bugger. Whatever, we're going to get enough condition back. We'll be fine. Let's go. We got most of our condition. I think we got enough condition that I'm glad we didn't waste. I'll take it. Are you kidding me? I looked there twice. Two times. Oh man. Take those two. You guys are all cooked. You don't get to go into my belly. But I am interested in looking at my cooking skill. Okay, we're almost into the four. this book. Murd missed it as well. Okay, good, good, good. That was one of our three locations that I knew. Okay, I gotta get a different book. I gotta drop this one. Yeah, everybody calls this game a walking simulator. I guess right now rifle works better and I put the other books here. Who knows when we'll be back? Nah. I have a pot. Alright, Mr. Bear, we'll be back for you later. We're gonna go get ourselves a bow. Oh, you know what I did? Yeah. Let's go throw you. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, I don't want to carry it just because it's like an extra kilogram. I'll put that one there. And this one's got some fuel in it. No point taking an empty one. Although, that is our good one. So we'll be breaking this one down and transferring the fuel into the other one. I almost wonder, with the weather as it is, if I should go up to the, the crash site. Then we can check the bunker and then continue our way. The three strikes. What do we have for arrows? Two? 
We got two arrows. We're all right. We soon will have more. I hope it clears up, though. I think it is. Okay, I do have coal. I was briefly worried there for a second, thinking that I dropped all of my, my fire supplies. That would have been just plain foolish. What was that? That's a wolf. He's walking away. I think we should take him out anyway, though. Your life needs to end, I'm sorry, just for no reason other than I want to be safe. Or, I guess your life can continue. <laughs> Let's grab some sticks. five what is fire starting oh we have a ways to go we have a ways to go before we don't need tinder well, let's try and get there quick I would like to get into the birch forest as well and grab a whole bunch of birch. Feels like we just did that though, right? That was in the previous run. I think I can actually go up here. I might be wrong. That looks like a big old clearing below. There we go. Oh boy, look at the sticks. Let's get to let's get to the barn we'll come back out here let's get to the barn get a fire going and warm up you're gonna have rabbit snares in here too probably yeah forget that that not sure I'm much container is just filled with meat I think it was all edible it's all cooked that's a good deal come on little fire all right Uh, let's throw two of you so we can warm up. 
51, that's kind of, eh. It's risky. I'd rather get rid of the risky and keep that one. All right. Let's just fill up on water. I got a bullet. Got you. I'm not going to take the wool scarf. I'll take you. I'm going to relocate that bedroll. I'm going to look very, very closely. Okay. Those can all go there. Uh... Read that for an hour. We got an hour fifty on that fire. Now we're warm though, that's the thing. And grab you should be some wood. I got another deer. That's a good idea. Good idea. That's a good, a good sign. Not a good idea. What's wrong with me? All right. We'll get this deer. And go back and warm up. Harvesting three. Is there any more feathers? Get this meat thrown on here. Ten minutes. We can do that. Help us warm up. Where are you there? What's on you? Forty minutes and how long? We got a lot of time. That was 40 minutes. Actually, that works. That works out good. And the weather sounds like it's turning. I have you. Fifty one and twelve. I wonder forty one. It's better than it was. Uh, we'll do that. We'll grab that. And that. Okay, let's go get the the bow. Better yet, let's get the arrows. Aha! I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Mark it. There we go. And let's go check this guy. We got some feathers. Oh, he's got an improvised knife. I don't need it though. I'm not taking it. I'm gonna click on you just to see if it spawns more feathers. No, it didn't. Okay, let's go. Go warm up. Um, is there anything in this other building? 
Like even just like a piece of wood or something? No? How can a building crumble like that and not have a piece of wood around it? Alright, what are you at? Eight minutes? Let's take you guys. Um, I think I'm going to do that. You call yourself a hoarder leaving that knife? Yes. Yes. All right, we got the bow. We got the arrows. We now have five arrows, right? Yeah, five arrows. We can go back. Although, you know what? I want to go this way because I want to look inside this cave. I don't know how to get to this cave from the other way. Because you kind of come between like a little... Like there's a little gap between some rocks when you come out. But if I go this way, I can get to it. And I really should stop running. Because we're already underweight. Um, I'm going to do that. My sound is delayed again. Are you guys hearing that? sound is delayed again it's uh, it's off by like a second or so oh hey look at you i'm just the second time i had my coffee in my hand i wanted to drink it and was interrupted there's anything in there but gotta look nope nothing well let's just carry on then hey LMG welcome in how you doing I'm going to go this way in case people haven't been to this area and they don't know what I'm quite talking about. But I will show you what it's like. Hey, Kimiota. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How's your run going? Did you find the, the cougar den? Come on, little fire. Yes. We just got the bow. We found, well, we didn't find, it's always been there. The memento bow in Pleasant Valley. This is why I can never find. That's what you basically going through if you try to go this way. That's why I wanted to go from the other side. All right, Kimmy. Do what you got to do. Uh, 
Um, hey, I have an idea. If I take these cattails. And I drop two of them. He sees that way. Now I know. I don't know if I want to go left or right. I don't know which way is quicker to get across the other side of these rocks. I really should not be running. Really, 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 really should not be running. Hey, another gen. Welcome in. How are you? Ooh, LMG, you go. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I saw you were going on a trip and I thought, oh, nice. And then I saw the reason and I'm like, oh, okay, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, big hugs, man. Let's take this cattail. Let's take the head as well. Um, yeah, I think the, I think the rifle will do if there's that wolf again. I don't know. Eh, what the hell, let's go with the bow. Save the rifle. What do we got? One, we only have one bar set. So, there's the wolf. He smelt me, he's going to it. I think. Yeah, he's coming. Hi right, boy, it's a showdown. Draw. Dunk. That was square between the eyes. Alright, let's go. Eat that. Eat that. And drink that. You know, part of me wants to just walk and conserve our carry weight, but the other part of me wants to just run and get there quicker. <laughs> Guess which side won? Impatient side. Now if I can get six kilograms off of that bear, we'll do the same thing and cook it while we sleep. We can't eat him. But we can gain cooking skill off of him. You said I am more patient than I thought. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> So Hey Pity Wong, thank you for the follow. And welcome in as well. I'm glad actually thank you again as well for that because I needed a test. I didn't see when Kimmy raided, but I needed to make sure all of my stuff is working. Been doing too much tinkering lately. 
Trying to get the other PC set up. Run, run. I got to be careful though, because there was, th there's those three wolves over there. This guy's still around somewhere. There he is. And right there, big old bear. I've never felt so cold in my life. Oh, she exaggerates, doesn't she? <laughs> All right, Mr. Wolf, let's go. Come on. There you go. Hey, Archery 3. We are getting closer to being able to crouch. Um, I'm going to pull you out, though. Uh, I got to remember, grab that lantern because I want to break it down. Actually, no, I don't want to break that one down. I want to break down the one I have. And fill that one. Wow, is it that time already? Alright, I'm gonna put that away if anything comes at us. See? Look, bear. Is six kilograms going to take an hour and a half? An hour and a half. Let's do it in the morning. I mean, we're cold, we're tired. If I do it now, I'm going to have to waste a, a coffee. There's where you went. And let's keep you guys out here so you stay fresh. Let's go in here. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And that book. Okay, I want to drop that one. And drop you. The baby book. Is this one only three hours? It's four hours, but isn't that the four hour book to begin with? Shouldn't it be a three hour book? Uh, what do you got for water? 278, we got lots of water and ah, right, 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 right. Hey, let's put this stuff where it belongs. Uh, there's no more, okay. Go down into the basement, put it where it belongs. Right. Oh, that's right. I'm not harvesting fire. And that bear is frozen. Okay. Saplings always go over here. Do that and do that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that until tomorrow. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. But I am curious to see if I did what if I was to use the saw. I mean, we're warm enough outside. I can drink the coffee. So that we don't lose more 
condition. Let me see. That six. Forty-five minutes. I'm starting to feel numb. Let's do it. I'm not drinking the coffee. Look at it ticking down. My worry is that I don't know how long this bear's going to stay and I don't want to lose his hide or guts. Definitely in the morning he's got to be dealt with. The sun is setting. It's going to get a Load you guys all onto here. There we go. Uh, 34, you should be okay. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Come on, little fire. There we go. We need an hour 15, basically, yeah. Was that fur? Oh, maybe it wasn't. An hour 20, and uh, where's a stick? Actually, let's not. Let's just take this torch. Ooh, it's 29. Stairs we go. That alert didn't come up. New follower, Kathy. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Oh, I'm not, I'm reading, not looking where I'm going. Why didn't it come up? Well, I guess I explained earlier why, because I'm doing so much messing around with the other PC. Thank you. And sorry, I didn't see that. And Murd, thank you for bringing it to my attention. I appreciate it. All right, let's, uh, you know what? Let's eat you. And we'll drink. And I think we will end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow.